All right, Jess. This is going to be a reading just for you. So we're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. Keep in mind what you may need to be aware of. Could be something uh, that we just don't want you to miss. <clears throat> that said, uh, just let's see what is going on for you today. Well, as I'm looking at the cards, things just may not seem like they're going together for you right now. Uh, just because the <laughs> just because the cards aren't. Um, you might have that energy where you're just kind of like things just like are not uh, going like you had anticipated. Uh, that said, let's get into this and see where your energies lie. Yeah. So, nine of wands. So. You're kind of in that energy of, you know, you're still fighting it out, you're still pushing. You're in the last, keep pushing. Uh, we have temperance that is showing up for you. Now, temperance is this, um, sorry, I just got to, temperance is one of those things, I got stuff falling all over my desk. Temperance is one of those things where uh, this is in your desires. And this is either the desire for patience, balance, or healing. The outcome is the death card. Keep in mind the death card does not mean death. It is actually major transformation. What's working for you is the strength card. So the fact that you've got the internal strength to take care of and handle any of these situations uh, is important. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is one of those things, uh, she's a very motherly type of person. Um, <clears throat> you can see she's got sort of a bowl here full of water. Um, there's a lot of emotion that she can display. Uh, she is one of those people that is very warm, uh, very motherly. We'll go through and we'll start to clarify. So the Nine of Wands, why is the Nine of Wands here for you? Well, it seems like there's been a lot of delay. And things are starting to break for you. And their information's coming in. Things are starting to move, and they're starting to move very quickly. But we have the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is one of those things where we have the possible th something from the past. Now this could be reward for past efforts, but this could also be um, kind of like Judgment Day where sort of the dead rise and come back. And whatever that is uh, for you is creating some anxiety currently. So I don't know what that's all about, but it seems like there's, there's some major anxiety going on. And in your desires, that brings us into temperance. So temperance, again, uh, is one of those cards where patience, balance, healing, all of those types of things. Um, <clears throat> let's go through and figure why Temperance is here for you. Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. There's several things that you know that fills you. There are things that make you feel wonderful. The problem is there may be something that is out of balance. So we've had temperance, which is balance, and then we have the two of pentacles, which is balance. There might be a few things in your life that may be out of balance. Um, and things that you might have been thinking were working for you before just aren't working for you. And you're walking away from them, moving um, sort of up the food chain is what I want to say. So like the eight of cups would go to the nine of cups. Uh, and you're walking away from that. <clears throat> so that brings us up to the outcome of the death card, which is transformation. It's, so let's go through and figure out what this transformation is about. There are opportunities that have you... Um, how do I 
I'm going to put it. The star card is about hope, healing, optimism, that type of thing, wishes. There's a lot of opportunities that are around you. Or maybe there's a lot of confusion about opportunities that are around you. And there's things that you just want to take action towards. This is kind of confusing, actually. It's... It's like you're hoping that change will motivate you and provide opportunities. So as you change, it will provide you with more opportunities. More that you hoped uh, and that your desires and wishes, you can actually take actionable steps towards. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's clarify the strength card. <clears throat> Ooh. So the internal strength that you have kind of needs to happen uh, and be there and use it because there may be something that you need. There might be delay in information that's coming in and that delay could be breaking your heart. Now this could also be um, that you're separated from somebody you really care about or something that you really care about. So the strength needed to go past this delay or whatever is causing this delay, you need to think through uh, so that you can move forward and start to create um, the things that you actually have the skills to do in order to feel with this Eight of Pentacles. Um, to use your talents and create the life or a new start. This seems like a new job. It's something... There's a couple of different things here. I almost get like um, you're separated possibly from somebody that you love, but there's also this new possibility of work with skills that you already have. Um, and this kind of makes sense as we go into the Queen of Cups as somebody or something that you need to be aware of. Why is this Queen of Cups here? You need to be aware of the Queen of Cups because there's possibly this energy that you're going through where, like, I don't know that I want to do that. I don't know that I want to, you know, there's four cups in front of this individual, and it's kind of that energy of, um, do I really want that? I'm kind of bored with that. But the tower shows up. And as you go through this, maybe you're just really in your emotions around this, and you kind of get down about it. But then there's a moment of clarity that comes in, which really causes, um, or could cause, um, I don't want to say competition, but it's almost like there's just some petty fighting back and forth. Nothing major. It's just kind of like nattering at each other. Um, and maybe this is just you in your head uh, about things where you've got some internal struggle going on. Typically I would see like the eight of uh, swords or something like that. Uh, but what I want to do is pull three more cards around this for you. Ooh. The world shows up which is your energy. We have the Ace of Cups that shows up and the King of Cups. So we have the King and Queen of Cups that shows up. So this is like possibly a major relationship and the Ace of Cups. So there is possibly um, some type of relationship coming in for you with the Ace of Cups. That's a very significant uh, relationship. I keep getting pulled back to this Queen of Cups. Uh, I almost get the thing is that be careful that you spend, um, it almost feels heavy in that you're kind of, I almost want to say like depressed. Be careful of that. Just be aware that, you know, 
those those types of feelings uh, may exist but yeah it seems like there's also a major relationship uh, that could be coming in for you which starts to make more sense with this three of swords um, kind of different anyway what I'm gonna do for you I don't normally do this but what I will do is I have these wonderful mermaid oracle cards and I'm gonna pull a couple of those just to see if there's any more information that you kind of need to know with this sometimes I use one that says uh, called the universe has your back uh, but I'm gonna pull from this one Ooh, divine sensuality making love farewell to the moon appreciate and enjoy the lunar highlights and cycles and the present um, so this is really interesting uh, gift treasure revelation of your own value and nowness so what I get is farewell to the moon ties in very well with the eight of cups or something that you want to leave behind and bring balance to your life we have the divine sensuality that shows up which is um, it's such a pretty card uh, that ties in very well with this ace of cups and the king of cups so some type of relationship um, that seems to make you feel just super duper wonderful and then the present um, this is not living in the past or letting and being sort of in the here and now and I almost the, the idea that I get is being there in all senses of the word being present with all senses really interesting read uh, just hopefully this uh, helps I don't know how accurate this is going to be for you I'd be really curious um, best of luck with this uh, I had a good time reading this for you um, yeah we'll talk to you soon